Kia ora. Welcome to North East West South News. I'm Callum. And I'm Helena. Today on North East West South News we have an Olympic scandal, an animal on the loose, celebrities going a bit wild and a story that's out of this world, but first up from the recent games. In July 2010, everyone was dazzled by the speed of Usain Bolt and Michael Phelps at the Olympics. Phelps, who won eight gold medals, obtained eight world records. Bolt won two golds on the track instead. But their glory was very suspicious. After the medal ceremonies, drug tests were done on both athletes. Both Bolt and Phelps were found to have used steroids and were stripped of their medals. These athletes have been extremely selfish and I hope they think twice next time. Here's our on-the-spot reporter, Jamie, with Usain Bolt and a drug tester. Hello, I'm Jamie, and here we have Usain Bolt and a drug tester. Hi, Usain, thanks for joining us today. Usain, why did you take the steroids? Because I really wanted to win my races and get a gold medal. What would have happened if you didn't take the drugs? I probably wouldn't have won my races and got my gold medal that I deserved. How do you now feel about your decisions? I think I did the right thing, and I nearly got away with it. Cameron, you test for drugs. What was your reaction when you found out Usain Bolt had tested positive to drugs? I felt really disappointed that he took the drugs. What's the process for testing drugs in people? You have to urinate in a cup, then we take it off to the lab to be tested. What would be your advice to Usain? Next time, he should think twice about taking drugs. Thanks, gentlemen. That's all from me. Now over to you, Helena, in the studio. An interesting interview. Thanks, Jamie. And now for something completely different. In Auckland yesterday, Dano the Friendly Monkey escaped from the popular Auckland Zoo. Jim, one of the keepers, carelessly left the gate open when he went to the toilet. Dino was soon roaming around busy Auckland and swung on all the suitable trees. Some parents were a bit freaked out when they saw Dino happily playing on a playground inside a kindergarten with toddlers present. Eventually Animal Control came and sent adorable Dino back safe and sound to the zoo. It's surprising Dino didn't hurt any of the public during his adventure. Now over to our reporter, Michael. Thanks, Helena. I'm Michael, and joining us now is the zookeeper and a member of the public. As a zookeeper, shouldn't you always check the gates? Yes, I should, but I really needed to go to the toilet. I couldn't help myself. How did you feel when the monkey escaped? I was extremely nervous because I didn't know what my boss was going to say or do. How did your boss react when he heard the news? He was like a wild, angry dog and nearly got fired. Cheyenne, you're a member of the public. What went through your mind when you saw the monkey? I was shocked and worried because I didn't know what Dino was going to do. How did your child react? She reacted fine. She was playing with Dino and laughing a lot. What do you think of Auckland Zoo? I think it's fine, but I think the zookeeper who left the gate open should be fired. And we're out of time. Over to you, Callum. Thanks, Michael. And now for something completely different. An interesting event happened in Hollywood yesterday when Katy Perry and Britney Spears got together. Both were shopping when Britney grabbed the last packet of chicken noodles at the grocery store. There was a lot of swearing and cursing between the pair of celebrities. Katy punched Britney and then Britney had a swing back. An elderly woman rang the police and Katy Perry was charged with assault and noodle stealing. Brittany was breath tested as well. Later it was revealed that Katie has a strange obsession with noodles. Luckily we don't have screwy people like that in New Zealand. Let's cross to our on the spot reporter who has more on the situation. Over to you Hannah. Thanks Callum. I'm Hannah and joining me now is the two celebrities in question. Firstly Katie, how much had you been craving noodles? I craved them so much. If I don't have them, my brain doesn't function properly. What were you thinking when you hit Brittany? I've got to get my noodles. I've got to get my noodles. I've got to get my noodles. Is there anything you'd like to say to Brittany? Yes, Brittany. Next time, why don't you try oriental noodles? Gosh. And Brittany, what's your view on this whole affair? Well, I brought the noodles with my own money, so I deserve to eat them. How do you feel about Katie now? She's a spoiled Russian brat and she thinks she's better than me just because she's got more hit singles. Have you got anything to say to the lady who rang the police? 
Yes, the fight was under control and there was no need to bring the police into it. Gosh. Thanks for your time, girls. Now over to you, Helena, for the next story. Thanks, Hannah. And now something that's out of this world. After two years of training, Lucy, the Jack Russell puppy, was blasted into space. The dog was on an expedition to find out if living things can walk on Mars. She sat in space only eating canned dog biscuits and jelly meat. Then, on the 2nd of September, a discovery was made. Lucy the dog landed on the rare planet. The scientists from NASA opened up the computer, opened up the spaceship, a high-powered computer. Lucy jumped out, pranced around happily before getting back into the spaceship. She made a successful return to Earth and is now happily at home. Maybe life will survive on Mars. Let's cross to our on-the-spot reporter who has more on the situation. Over to you, Tibet. Thanks, Elena. I'm Tibet, and now joining me is the dog's owner and a NASA scientist. Adelaide, how do you feel sending a dog into space? Very excited, and it's the first time ever sending anything to Mars. What did you learn from this trip to Mars? That humans have a better chance of surviving on Mars than they do on the moon. What's next for NASA after this expedition? Wow, we're either going to send a chimpanzee to Jupiter or a person to Mars. You're Lucy's owner. How did you feel about her going to Mars? I felt excited and anxious for Lucy. What do you think would happen when she got there? I really don't know what could have happened. Is Lucy any different today compared to before the trip? She is much more adventurous and she is always looking for something to chase her out. Thanks for your time, ladies. Now is your grace with the weather update. Thank you, Tibet. Starting up north, Aucklanders can expect settled weather, a high of 20 degrees, and a good day for a walk on the beach. Hamilton should be foggy early, but clearing in the afternoon, a high of 18 degrees. The day will be cold and windy in Taupo, so stay away from the lake and keep a jacket handy. Wanganui will be wonderfully fun, a great day for the beach, a top temperature of 30 degrees. Wellington could be windy, so put extra pegs on the clothes and don't jump in the air. Christchurch will be cold and wet, so stay home, and Dunedin is expecting snow, so take a care with you for that snowman's nose. That's all from me for now. Good night, New Zealand, and catch you tomorrow. Now back to the news desk with Callum and Helena. Thanks, Grace. Well, that brings us to the end of our show. Thank you to all our reporters and production crew. From all the team at North East West South News, we wish you a good night. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you again next time. This has been Callum and Helena. Goodbye. And Ahora. Ladies and gentlemen, roll the camera. Okay. okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we have featured an interview with a very peculiar looking gentleman. Scene one, take one. Two.